Good morning. We're here in the village of Wivelsfield Green and we're actually on Green Road and I'm about to show you around number four diamond cottages, which is this charming little early Victorian end of terrace cottage you're looking at in the middle of your screen. Uh, the property, as you can see, it's part at the end of the terrace. They actually built a new one on the other end of the terrace some years ago, which we sold. And just so you know where we are location wise, we're just to the east of the Barnard and Brough, the Nissan dealership, just down there with those flags. Just around the corner, you've got the old Bulldogs garage where there's a, um, a little Morrison's store. And if you walk to your east, you can join the village recreation ground, which is literally two, three hundred yards up on the right. And if you keep walking, you come to the village pub, the village store, which has got a post office and a delicatessen and the very highly regarded primary school. So come and have a look. I'm going to take my shoes off because this house is absolutely lovely. So it's a charming little cottage. Our client bought the property about eight years ago and she's done various bits and pieces to it, but quite a lot of it was as you see it. Um, in particular, she's had the roof redone. So it's got a new roof. The front windows have been replaced and various other improvements, but it is all in rather lovely condition. So let's have a look around. As you can see, little entrance porch, something I should have quickly said, we've got parking there for two, one very big car. She has a big car and obviously you get another smaller car there. So you've got parking for two cars. Um, which is a real bonus, and the garden, it's a shame, it's a rotten old day, but it is a south facing garden. And then at the front, you've got the main living room, pretty room, this is all like oak effect flooring, but you've got a wood burning stove in this one, so an open wood burning, so very cosy room. You see all the ceilings have been replastered, um, which is nice, and then out the back, you come into this great big sort of dining area, which is spilling into the kitchen, so a fabulous big kitchen come breakfast room. Plenty of room, as you see, plenty of room for a table and chairs, Plenty of room for a sofa and a great big fridge behind the door there. And then the kitchen itself, this was done just prior to her coming, uh, all very nicely presented. And what I think is lovely, this double glazed door is actually a stable door, so that's split. So in the summertime, you can leave that open. Now, there's a little outhouse across there, which I've seen some people have made into a little utility room. But in this case, you don't need to because we've already got a fab utility room. I think originally this was a three bedroom cottage and this was the downstairs bathroom. But as you can see, you've got a proper utility room here, space for various appliances, you've got a sink, and you've even got a loo down here as well. And the boiler, that's, that was replaced as well just before she came. Desperate to get outside, it's just started raining. And then come upstairs. So we've got two bedrooms up here, both are doubles, and this would have been the third bedroom originally which is now a really lovely bathroom so not only have you got a bath you've also got a proper walk-in shower and the garden looking over the garden at the back i've got to declare to you and we're going to have the drawings for you the fields behind sadly are going to be built on there is planning permission to build houses out there the access to that that field is going to be round off the ditchling road near just beyond bulldog's garage so this is the smaller of the two bedrooms so it's a nice size double, as you can see, she's got a double bed in here, but there is also this great big wardrobe. And there's a hatch into the loft in this room. So it's a nice size double. Exposed floorboards in these bedrooms, which I think are really lovely. Same in the front room. And then the front bedroom being the bigger of the two. Again, another nice size double. Great big recess for wardrobes over there. And there are lots of built-in cupboards in here already. And then that's looking back across the road Across the road, you're just looking straight across. Thankfully, there's some big trees that have been taken down. Uh, but beyond that is a lovely old house called Pepper Hall, and they've got acres of land over there. That's an old listed cottage, so I don't think they're in the building on there. But going back to that development, um, I believe there's it's for 96 houses. It was only approved a few months ago. There's been a huge, um, as, as always with all new developments, there's been a huge uh, support to not build houses, any more houses in Wivelsfield because Wivelsfield's had quite a bit of building done in recent years. Um, I'm a bit of a conservationist myself, so, but I am a hypocrite because I sell houses for a living, uh, but I'd rather see countryside, but in this case, you've got that. Now, being the very end of the terrace, you do have a right of way. So this, you're the last one on the terrace, so you can actually walk back across the terrace to get round if you had to bring stuff out in the garden. But out here, as you can see, got a really nice courtyard with all the seating. Now I've measured the garden as a maximum measurement. So off that back wall, you can just about see that tap under that window, right the way through to the back of the fence is about a hundred feet. So you've got certainly 80 
very usable feet of sunny south facing garden, even though it's raining. So terrace here, when you come along, you can see, look back across the fences. You've got lots of high hedges down here at the bottom. So if they, as and when they do build, we don't know when it's gonna happen or when it's gonna start, but it's gonna happen at some point. Um, you've got hedges here, which are keeping you nice and private. But it is all houses, so it's not uh, a mix of commercial or anything like that. And then it's really starting to rain now, but I'll come round the back here. You get an idea of the back of the terrace and you can just about make out. This one's got a new roof as well. Now the village, as mentioned, it's totally surrounded by countryside. If you're a keen dog walker, as my client is, you've got some fantastic walking here. We've got Ditchling Common Nature Reserve to the south of us. We've got Chaley Common Nature Reserve to the east. Um, the school I mentioned is fantastic, Wilversfield School. And if you're looking at secondary schools, look up Chaley Secondary School. That's the catchment area. The kids get on a bus for Chaley School here. Um, which has only got 700 kids in it. So it's a very small country secondary school. But there you go, that's number four Diamond Cottages. If you like it on this rotten rainy video, hopefully you're gonna like it when the sun comes out. So do get in touch with Mansell McTaggart in Haverty and come and have a look. And do follow us on our YouTube channel as these properties are live on there before they are on things like Rightmove. Thanks for watching, I'll get the cushions in.